Hey developers, today we're going to talk about a little bit of different topic, kids and programming. How can you teach kids how to program? And I'm going to go and take two resources, code.org and scratch. We're going to look at both of these resources and see which one works better to teach young kids how to program. And I'm going to have a special guest on that's going to help me decide which one is better. So let's begin. Hey, and by the way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Eric. I do programming tutorials. I write books. I do a lot of different things. If you're interested in me, below I have some links on some of my favorite courses. Uh, go ahead and check those out. That would really help me out. Let's begin. Okay, so we have two websites here. I have my daughter Vivian. Say hi. Hello. All right, so we're gonna try these out. Vivian has no programming experience. And yes, I do, Daddy. What what experience do you have? Remember when we um when we were. I was doing programming and I was moving the guy. Oh yeah, I guess you did a little a bit. Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft. Okay. Eh, okay, I have a little Minecraft. I meant experience. Okay. So a little bit um, of experience, but let's go ahead and try one of these. So we'll start with code.org and they recommend their two course A and course B. Um, so let's go ahead and start course B and see how it goes. So, so it looks like here, learn the basics of computer science, internet safety. At the end of the course, create your own very basic game or story you can share. So we'll go ahead and go through some of this and we'll see how Vivian likes it and then we'll try the Scratch project. What's a Scratch project? You'll find out. All right. So it looks like at the beginning of this, we're going to watch some videos. So we'll watch the videos here. So the first hey. video was pretty cool. It was just talking about bugs. What do you think about that? I think I liked it. All right, let's go and watch the next video. Uh, looks like there's another video after this, so we'll go and watch it. All right, the second video was more about frustration, how you can keep persevering even though if you're failing. And I think learning to code, especially as a kid, is going to be really difficult for some people. So you have to kind of have that mindset of it's okay to make mistakes and keep moving forward because sometimes it takes a few times. I wish I guess could show you these videos, but if you go to studiocode.org, you can see them. Um, what do you think of that video, Vivi? I think the first part was really sad. It was really sad? That's why it was like this. Yeah. Okay, Vivi. All right, so, but it was kind of an interesting video. Um, so you liked it then? It was yeah. kind of sad at the beginning, but you liked it? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one here. All right, so there's one more video on pair programming. So this video uh, is about pair programming. So it talks about driving and navigating. There's these two girls that are kind of exploring how that works. So it's kind of a great thing to learn when you're starting to learn to program, especially as a young kid, having someone else with you that's also learning at the same time is, is pretty important. So what do you think of this part of the video, Vivi? I think it was a good video to learn about because I think if you're like really little, like if you're like seven or two, you could ask, um, watch this video, these videos, and you are going to like start to learn that you need someone to help you, or you can't get too frustrated when some when something happens. And well, I think the last, and it kind of was like on the la first video was like to try to get. I mean, it's like. So it's like programming. Right, right. Okay, well, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. So All right, so this is the first, like, lesson. So can you, let's go ahead and read that at the top. All right. Drag the block to the trigger. Trigger? Target. Target. Congratulations! You did it! Alright, good job. So let's go and try another one. Alright. Press X. Uh, continue. Alright. I think I know what we need to do. Okay. Alright. Completed puzzle three. Put it together. Go 
guess I'll start with the bottom. Oh, the top. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it looks like this one put the blocks in order. So yeah. we'll continue on with these. I don't know, sure. This really is kind of like when you, um, so if, if you haven't done it, it's kind of, well, I, well, it's kind of like one of those things where you have those little things and you have to put them together to make your character move. Right, yeah. That's what this is kind of yeah, like. Yeah, we looked at some similar to that at one point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it looks like we went through the, the first four sections just learning how to move blocks around. So uh, looks like there's another video, so we'll, we'll go ahead and watch it. Okay, so this is just telling you how to use their kind of code editor called Blockly. It reminds me a lot of Scratch from what we've seen so far of it. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And okay, it looks like Vivi, uh, let's see if you can do this one. It looks like- So are we supposed to like hit that? Wait, let's read that. Play with these blocks to see what they move make. the bird make ache the bird no get the bird too big to complete level yeah get the bird to the pig to complete the level oh click the light bulb light bulb with when you need a hint when you need a hint i okay. think i might not get it Okay, so close that. So let's see, let's try this out. So this is kind of the first time we're actually doing like sort of pseudo programming here, but it kind of gives you an idea right. of how to structure and put together a program. Okay, we're going to need this one. And I so think we're going to go down. Three downs. Let's see what happens. Um, go ahead and to run it, let me see here, you need to click the uh, run button. Go and click the run button. Oh. Hey, you did it. Good job. Congratulations, you completed puzzle two. All right, so let's try it. You did three lines of code. Continue? Yep. All right. All right, so here's another video. Looks like it's kind of helping us. Here. Um, All right, so this video is more just about debugging. Um, if we had problems, it kind of tells you how to debug a little bit. So let's try one more of these. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and move on to Scratch and see how it's similar or different. This just get that just. So the bug, fix the code to get me to the pig. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, what do you think about that? Maybe we'll do one more. Let's do one more and then we'll move to scratch. Yeah, we'll do one more. I think I like this. All right. All right. So what went wrong? So this is what they're doing right now. So how would you would east, debug this? East, west, west. I meant I'd put this one back and put it east, east. Okay. Because I think they went like east, 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 and then west. Yeah, they needed to go east one more time, so going back west. <laughs> On that block right there, they yeah. go back. Yeah, exactly. So, oh. all right, I think we kind of got the idea of how this works. Let's ah. let's try scratch. All right, let's try Scratch. I like okay, this so one. when you go to scratch.com, you can register as a user, and after you register as a user, you can choose a what um, you can choose a starter project, which are great for kids. So I thought we would go ahead and try a starter project. It's not as code.org is a lot more um, based on a whole tutorial. This is a little bit different. You have a lot of different. It's a little bit more creative, I guess. The Scratch, you can kind of choose which projects you can work on. Ooh, um, I wanted to see. So go ahead and, I mean, pick one of these ones and we could try it out. Let's try, try Dini Party or... Dance Party? Dance. Okay, let's try the Dance Party. All right. 
kids party. Where should I get? Well, I just ready picked it. Happy birthday to you. Okay, add your own sprites to the dance party. So let's go ahead and. How do I do? That? So click, go and click the start button, I guess. This one. So here's start and stop. So it says add your own sprite to the dance party. Um, so we can go see inside here. And this is, so here's the code that does it. You have one click, it kind of goes to the next costume, this glides. This harder. Yeah, it looks like from the start it's a little harder. But here, you can click here new sprite. So go ahead and choose a new sprite from the library. I think I want to do the first one, but let me see. Looks so cute, the little kitty. All right, choose that one. Click OK. How was OK then? Ah, uh, right there, the bottom. Okay, so now you have your own sprite in there. Sprite, sprite. And I think sprite. you can move them. All right, we're gonna move ten steps. Move ten. Steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like these are all the different things you can do. All right. Um, so we okay. can have a move 10 steps. You can turn him around 15 things. I think I might do that. Oh, 15 degrees, okay. All right, let's try that. All right, so hit the little start button and see what happens. The green. This one. How do you do this? Yeah, I we think... We need help. So I think we're definitely, this is a little bit more complicated because we're, we've are we never used Scratch before. Yeah, this is so more complicated. Really you can't make it to do, um, you can't, you can't find it until, or yet, I, we haven't yet. And you can't really, um, and you can't like do a move without doing that little thing, that little thing. Yeah. I think this one is definitely more harder than the last one. Yeah. I uh, think this one was definitely harder, harder. I mean, I know I said that like again, but yeah. Talk. So Vivi, uh, after us um, playing with this for a few minutes, and compared to what you're learning code.org, and I know there's more stuff to. Uh, to scratch, but what do you think so far of kind of being able to put together something like this? I think this is really cool, but at the same time, I think this is hard. I think they have, they, they should have that hard video in this hard, this video because it's, I meant this show, because it's really hard. Yeah, I think there may have been like easier steps we may have missed, but just going through and doing the starter projects definitely was a little bit harder. Um, let's look at one more thing here. You couldn't get him to move a little, a lot. Maybe we have to do something. I don't know, really. So we can just create from scratch here. So here is another way of doing it. We can just like put together something from scratch instead of Ooh, using one of the starter let's projects. Let's try that. So let's put in here. We'll do one clicked. So when you start it. What do you want him to do? Let's try something. Okay, let's see. All right, so Vivi, and you got a time to kind of play around with both the Scratch and Code.org. I mean, what do you like better? I think I'm gonna have to say 
Kodak store because you can build things from scratch. You have decisions. You can make decisions and you can play it and you can go back to the other thing. Yeah, so I kind of like it. I mean, I could see, imagine when you get better but at this, this Scratch one, is pretty but fun. It, but Scratch is harder, too. Right. It's uh. really hard, too. So I'd say Scratch, but I really do. I still do like the other one, too. Yeah. All right, so there you heard it. So you can see that was pretty fun. We went over code.org. We went through their basic uh, program. You can see it was slowly walks you through almost a little too slow of how to start out learning to program but you could see it was progressively getting more difficult uh as says for scratch we kind of jumped right into the creating a, a sample program and i think that was a little too hard at the beginning we were kind of confused on what to do exactly we sort of understood it after we started putting things together and uh but i can see how it's really powerful i think for starting off i would definitely choose something like code.org um, there's also tons of other resources out there and maybe in future videos I'll show that to you guys So if you guys like this video, please like and comment and just subscribe below and let me know You know if you want me to do more of these. Thanks